Hello, welcome back to our talks. It's me, Amario. No, it's me. Um, so this is getting weird. So in this week's episode, I'll be talking, give you some news. Uh, I'm going to Giggles tomorrow because I'm recording this on the Monday. And this will be out today, which is Tuesday. And <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so I will be going down to Giggles and to do in the exact same set that I did when I bombed at Stitch New Material Night. Because like I, like I was telling you, open mic is where dreams go to die, like Uncle Joey said. So, be a bit of fun. I'm really looking forward to going to Giggles because I haven't been there. Like say, last couple of months, I wanted this to be my third time doing it because work and other commitments like last time i was in giggles was on the 4th of october we're now 14 so you know it's been over a month and the time before that was in july so you know there's definitely been big gaps and yeah so that'll be gig 28 two more and i will reach my goal of 30 which i think is very very achievable uh, but anyway so yeah, gonna do the exact same set. See how it goes. See how the giggles crowd like it or don't like it. We'll see. Playing around with a couple of new uh, jokes. Always fun, but also it's kind of scary. But if you don't try out new stuff, then you don't know if it works or not. I definitely have to kind of reword one of the jokes anyway. Because... It's a bit, I think it's, it's partly to do with, well, it's not partly to do with history. It's, it is, a, it, uh, it's based on a historical event that actually happened. And so I, I think I have to find the kind of in between space between it being actually, um, not to have too much history in it, but make it also funny or have kind of a good combination of both. Because I thought when I wrote, uh, wrote it out first that I had um, a good combination of both, but apparently not. Because looking back over that recording, um, okay, my computer being computer, but yeah, but looking over back at like because uh, I had um, looked at that recording of that gig, and that's when kind of I started to bomb is there because that's when there was more silence in the room um, but what is going on with this so I will definitely have to make small adjustments and we'll be back at it again why are you running no and last train of thought are looking out the window. And let's look at my notes. Yeah. So hmm. So there's that. I mean like rewrite the joke, go to giggles, perform it again and see what happens. Um I've entered two comedy competitions for next year. One of them is Ireland's best joke. It's limited to five jokes per entry. I entered three of them because I think they're kind of three kind of witty and snappy ones um, that I like. One of them I don't think I've ever performed. No, I have when I bombed. Um, kind of got a strange response, but nevertheless, it is there and it is my entry. For the joke and then the, the other comedy competition is uh, new best act 2023 which is held that actually they were both run by the uh, uh, Hardy Hair Comedy Club in Bray and Wicklow in Ireland where I performed at the Good Crack Open Mic uh, when was that? It's during the summer 
in the summer. Yeah, 20th of April. That is actually probably like one of my best gigs to date. Um, was that one. And I've used footage from that gig to apply for lots of other gigs as well. So probably like the best. I think it was like seven minutes or so or six minutes or whatever and timing wise is pretty good as well and uh, yeah so I've applied for those competitions the new best act is it's going to be four heats all in January every Thursday and then on the 15th of February uh, the final will be there Who and then whoever wins will get a paid spot at the Harry here Oh, comedy club, and I think this prize money is all and a tr trophy. This prize money and a trophy and a t shirt for Aaron's best joke. So, it was actually advice that someone gave me to enter comedy competitions. I was like, you know, I'll do it. Um, I think it was Niamai who. Uh, first solo show I went to actually recently uh, in Hysteria and it was I really enjoyed it I thought it was a very witty and great show um, because I have known Nia for I met him really early when I started doing comedy because we both used to do spots at the Haypenny Bridge Inn and then um, after COVID ended, obviously I see him the whole time with gigs and stuff. So it's it was great to go see watch his show, you know, because like like I said, I've known him for a long time, and then come to all those bits come together as part of a big long solo show is really cool. And yeah, so I actually found out there is a drop in improv class on Mondays in Dublin in the teachers club. It's called improv playground. It's like two hours. So, on any Mondays that I'm not working, I will be doing that. Uh, get back into improv because I really enjoyed it when I used to feck at improv before Connor moved over to Frankfurt. So, improv is very enjoyable for me. So, I'm definitely looking forward to going back and doing more of that. And especially improv classes to you know, learn new stuff. Uh, so yeah, so that'll be that giggles gig will be gig twenty eight, and then two more, and I'll reach my goal of thirty. While it's not a huge amount of number of gigs, it's also, I think, not a small amount either. Because that's thirty times I got on stage this year. Well, hopefully it'll be the thirty times, but um. Probably, I'll, yeah. Like I've, to be honest, I have no idea how I am going to. Because work will get very busy soon, so we will see. We'll see. Um, uh, awkward silence. Um, I think that's pretty much it, really. So giggles tomorrow. And yeah, giggles tomorrow, and then try and do two more gigs before the end of the year. Bring it up to a nice round thirty, and finish off the year. It will be two, what, three weeks time. Oh yeah, in three weeks time, because this episode ninety seven, I'll be at a hundred episodes. Ooh, and I get some balloons for here. Um, what else did I want to say? I think that's about it, really. Giggles, try out the new jokes. Hopefully not bomb. Um, that'd be nice. Uh, the podcast sticker, as always, you can buy one. Two fifty euro each. Postage and ship includes. Just message me on social media, and I will get one out to you. Um. But I think that's about it, really. Um, thanks for all the support. Uh, hello to my new subscribers. Um, 
yeah that's about it thanks for watching thanks for the support links down below for linktree you can access all my social media there and all that stuff uh buy me a coffee episodes on youtube and things like that and that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you next week bye